Hey, how's it going everyone? It's fucking sunny outside. It's a perfect time for me to finish my fucking broken car. Let's get to it. So I ran into some problem when I was trying to rivet the um, radiator fan onto the radiator mount. And look what happened here is that it's not binding because the radiator fan is like made out of plastic and so it's going through. So what I did was I went ahead and just used uh, just regular bolts and nuts and I just Pretty much sandwich plastic right here and that that worked perfectly and you know that's why it's just everyone to save your nuts and bolts see that Well, you know, since we're not gonna eat this fan anymore, of course, we're gonna have to take this shit out. I've already taken out all the bolts and nuts in here, so there's the last bolt right here, and this thing should just come out. Is it gonna come out? Maybe not. So much fucking space. Wow! Well, I finally got all the radiator hose down here, as you can see. It's got a tight fit up down there, but I only got this one left and I should be good. God, just... Alright. Alright, I think that's good. I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten that thing up. Alright, I think that's good. Well, so I finally got done with my radiator, as you can see right here, I finally got it installed. All I need to do are wiring and put the coolant and just waiting for my friend Non Ho. I call him the Ho Bag, but he's the one who's good at wiring. I, I suck at wiring. To me, that's like math, you know? I'm just lazy. I can do it, but I'm just like fucking lazy. All I have to do is drag my fucking friend Ho Bag into this fucking garage so that way he can help me out with this shit right here. But pretty much it's done. I just need to put coolant and do the wiring and that's it. So. sunny day today and I'm gonna try to finish my car hopefully um, I hope that I don't, I don't have to run into any problems because I'm trying to get this car out as, as soon as I can 
So let's get to it. So this is pretty much the um, the stock steering angle of an RX-7, okay? So later on, once I install the uh, steering angle kit from Valence, you're gonna see the you're gonna see a big difference in there. So it's gonna be a little bit more like right here. Just to compare the difference between the uh, the modded steering angle and the OEM one, uh, the big difference pretty much is uh, this part right here has been shortened. As you can see, you see how long this one is? It's gonna go in between right here, right? And then right here, the other end. So we will see how it goes. I pick uh, Villain's steering angle kit because I've heard like really good reviews and I've been really kind of eyeing on them for like a couple of years now but I know that I could have gone like uh, with different ones and I know like PBM are like very expensive and I don't have that type of like funding for this car yet but Villains angle kit they they are pretty reasonable as long as you send in their uh your own knuckles they got it done i, I sent in my knuckles and he got it done within two days and it's back to me by friday like pretty much it was like just a week you know so just would like to give a shout out to nate from villains i uh, can't wait to try on this thing right here and start drifting for all of you rx7 fc owners if you're doing if you're gonna be doing this mod for drifting. You're actually gonna need a series four lower control arms, which is this. Okay, you can get the uh, villain's angle kit, but the only option will be the series four. Uh, make sure if you're doing this, uh, you have, you got yourself a pair of series four lower control arms. So that's the big thing right there. It finally happened, so I kind of ran into some problem. There it is. That's the part that I'm going to be stuck in forever. <laughs> I got it out with a fucking pipe wrench. Just like what they said on uh, RX-7 forum that I'm in on Facebook. Thank you guys for saying I need a pipe wrench because that's all I needed. Because you know what? It's got enough leverage, okay? So that that fucking worked. The the tool that I just ran into was just fucking stupid. Okay, so I kind of ran into some problem again. Um, I uh, I forgot the. Uh, ball joint for the lower control arm uh, when I traded mine with my friend I totally forgot to tell him to bring the ball joints as well so I um, I, 
can't pretty much do anything past this, past this point. As you can see, I already got the uh, lower control arm on. Fuck. Um, got the uh, inner tie rod as well. So, hopefully I can pick up the those parts tomorrow for my friend. So I need to travel at least like an hour away. But I'm gonna pretty much do finish up the other side up to this point. So that way tomorrow I can just go ahead and plug and play since it'll be easy. It just, I really wanted to finish the car tonight. I can just focus on the wiring for the fan, the radiator fan. But it's, it's a fucking mess in here. You can see all that stuff right there. It's, there's more over here. I, I need to just... But I'm gonna go ahead and finish this, uh, clean this up, and gather all my uh, my tools and bolts, whatever, so I'm not gonna be missing shit. It's, uh, it's a fun night. This, this guy right here, I... I wasn't thinking straight. I wasn't even thinking too much like, oh, it's like, yeah, whatever. Oh shit, here's my buddy's RX-8 and RX-7. Finally gonna get the parts from him today. Man, I haven't seen this car in a while. This is my RX-7 too. Got this RX-7 FC Turbo. I want to get an RX-8 again. I don't care what you haters say, but I love RX-8s. There's Drew right there. What's up, Drew? <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> I finally got myself a Koya Red. Huh? You gonna convert the electric fan? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, okay. Drew coming in in the clutch with all these parts right here. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah. All right, man. Well, I don't want to take any more of your time. Thanks for uh time, Oh yeah man, that's it's gonna be uh band time for me. I wanna play band again for fun, so but yeah. I'll see you June. June twenty seventh man. Be there or be triangle. Triangle? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright man. All Thanks right. a lot man. I owe you one, alright? I'll get you uh lunch over there when uh we uh drift. Hell yeah man, anything you want. Tell John I said bye. Okay, so it's almost three in the morning. I got home from picking up the parts from my buddy Drew and I uh, got home. I'm super tired because I still had to uh, band session with my cousins and my brother. So I took a nap, finally got my beauty sleep and finally working on this. I put the, um, had to take the, uh, the inner tie rod out because uh, people told me to put thread lock on it just to be safe and that's what I did I pull it out again and do that so I'm trying to figure out how to do this uh, lower control extension from you know the the kit that I got I pretty much figured it out I, f I thought it was like that they mess up on the sizing of the bowls or the length <laughs> I felt kind of stupid because you know I, I just woke up but um, it works now. I'll show you guys. There hasn't really been any too much videos on like how to put the villain's angle kit, the steering angle kit. So what you have to do is pretty much take off this right here, the, the ball joint, and you're gonna use the uh, uh, lower control arm extension for it. But the way they are mounted, you're gonna have to Put the long one here for the long bolt and underneath it right here you'll see hold on the short one goes right here so the long one goes right here first the short bolt goes right here and because this has to go through right here 
and another short bolt goes through right here. The reason why is because you want this right here to clear, but uh, like I said, I was getting confused earlier, but I pretty much figured it out. And I know there's not a lot of videos out there that, uh, that shows how to install one of these things, so hopefully I can at least help everybody out when they uh, purchase this angle kit. Going on. What's up? Are we just gonna look at the fireworks? Gonna work on my fucking car. <laughs> Come on, you gotta work on my fucking car, motherfucker. <laughs> when in Georgia. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, well. Yeah, fuck being tired. Time to work in my car. Ah, look at all these cars for me. Welcome to Level Up Garage right here. My fucking friend right here. He's finally doing my fucking wiring, okay? Hey. Hey, high five. There you go. High five, man. There you go. There's Josh and there's none, alright? So this motherfucker right here is the one going to be doing my fucking wiring for my radiator. Hey, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> I'm just lazy, that's all. I'm, I'm... <laughs> You guys seen in a video before earlier, my uh, my tire is fucking like, like literally scrubbing. It's r scrubbing right here since it was fucking low. So what I did, I just fucking uh, adjusted it, put it up, but that's what happened before. It literally cut the fucking groove on my tire and just ate away a good chunk of it. And you can see it splattered everywhere. But I already adjusted it. Don't worry, this time's gonna be just for drifting. So now we're just ready to put an electric fan and wire it up. Already cleared up some of the stuff here, even the AC line. So all the good cars right here. We got a fucking Evo. That's Leon's Evo. There's everybody right there. And this piece of shit right here. Oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna go ahead and fucking pull it. Hey, Nan. What do you say about my mama? What? What do you say about. You know, I'm gonna fucking pull this motherfucker. Ready? You guys ready? <laughs> go! <laughs> hey, bitch ass. It's done. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Get your ass over here, man. I eat ass, bro. You eat ass? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> gosh. Like you, <laughs> you eat ass? What the fuck did I just get What? That's not your funny video. Back to that. Back to what? Eating ass? What? What? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> fuck you, Nan. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. You got this, dude? I got this. <laughs> I hate to see my Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. No, Yeah, I'm serious. Yeah. Don, do you get when you drink, Doesn't drink. I don't drink. I only eat my girlfriend's ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What are you doing? You got it? Yeah, I, I got it. Leave me a noon. Alright, that's good. Yeah, clean motherfucker. Dirty ass motherfucker. You got the maid of the place. Yeah. It's the maid of 
<laughs> Why y'all zoomed in so much, Mike? assistance okay all right he did all that stuff over there so we'll see the rx 7 is finally home safe and sound i uh would just like to thank uh my buddy non for helping me out wiring that fan module and uh i would like to give a shout out to josh hooper fellow rx 7 from the uh the forum and facebook He's the one who recommended me the uh, Flexolite uh, fan module. And thank you for everybody else on the uh, RX7 forum that helped me out along the way. Uh, I know I've been asking a lot of questions in the, uh, the page, but you guys pulled through and my RX7 is finally good. Uh, now I'm just ready for drifting. So thank you guys for watching this episode. If you can, please click that like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.